If you're following the chapter 6 videos, then you may be able to resume from where you left off, from the modeling exercise. If not, from the startup screen, go to the Families section, click on Open, browse to Chapter 6, and open the file Chapter 6 Diffuser Types. When we look at families in the project environment, we'll quite often see that a loaded family has different types. And that's the purpose of this exercise, to define some of those types for this diffuser. From the Family Types button, we'll find that we have no type. What we want to do is create a new type. And let's call this a 600 by 600 with 250 by 250 neck. And click on OK. We now have a family type that we can use in our project file. So let's create another one. Click on New. Type in 300 by 300 with 100 neck. And let's be consistent and say that's a 100 by 100 neck. Click on OK. What we need to do now is change our parameters to match the type. and click on Apply. If we change back to the previous type and click on Apply, you'll see that our family changes to suit the parameters provided. Let's do that one last time. We'll create a new type and we'll call this a 1200 by 300 with 250 by 250 neck and change the dimensions again and click on Apply. Click on OK and save your family. From your Application button, click on Open, Project, browse to your Chapter 6 folder and open up the Chapter 6 Revit project file. This is a blank project. What I want to do in here is just show the process for getting the newly created family into the project. From your View tab, switch windows back to the floor plan of your family. It doesn't really matter which view it is, I just selected the floor plan. I can now load this into a project. It tells me it can't create this element in the current view. That's because we have a drafting view open. Let's go to my level one. Go to the Systems tab and click on Air Terminal. It tells me there are no Air Terminals loaded into the project. So let's see what the problem is in our family. Back in the family, we've been working along creating this object and saving it as a diffuser. The issue we have here is the family category hasn't been set and we need to change it to Air Terminals. Click on OK and then load it back into the project. It tells me to overwrite the existing version. Let's go back to level one and click on Air Terminal again. I don't want to tag it right now, so I don't want to load a tag. And now I can place my Air Terminals. If I select one and look at its properties, here we have my Chapter 6 Diffuser and its type is a 1200 by 300. I also have the 600 by 600 and the 300 by 300. We nearly have a complete family. What we don't have right now is the ability to connect this to a duct. And in the next exercise, that's exactly what we're going to do.